Hi traders, Nathan Bray here from ACY Securities. Well, I wanna to talk to you about key levels in the market, but more importantly, what do we do when price is approaching or at these key levels in the market? So we've taken our time, done our analysis and chosen, for example, a weekly high uh, top of the range level, which I've talked about on this US dollar index. So the question becomes, when price gets near it or at that level, do we just enter? Okay, because the reality is like this US dollar has done this week, it is busted through that level. So often I'll have traders ask me, so how can I try and have a strategy where I look for something, where I wanna see the market tell me there is the potential for price to maybe reverse or pull back temporarily even enough to trade. So to start off with, let's go in and have a look at this US dollar index this week. Okay, so we're looking at the US dollar index on a weekly chart and you can see this top of the range level that I've marked in for you and the bottom of the range. So recently this week, I was looking to see if price could get up to this top of the range level and look for potential trading opportunities. Now you can see that it's blast through there. So I guess there's two approaches and that's what I wanna look at. Let's drop down to the daily. So it's a little bit clearer. So I'm looking at this level here and I'm saying, okay, price gets up there. There is one argument that you could just trade the level. I know Duncan Cooper teaches that strategy along with a bunch of others in his live analysis and educational webinar series. So that's the level there. Let's just back it up and have a look and see if I was to just trade the level. In other words, I just put in a sell trade for a possible reversal. And I, for example, used a 100 pip stop. So I could measure this and say, well, it did go up you know, 56, more than half of your risk there. Uh, didn't quite get up to this 100 where your stop is, but you can see right now from that level, if you got in, it would be, you know, going against you about 23 pips. And this very may well reverse and turn into a great trade. The other thing you could do is what we want to look at today is say, okay, let's, let's back it up and let's look at this and get the market to tell us signs that we could potentially be getting a reversal or we could be getting even just a temporary um, stall enough for us to get a winning trade um, or we just might get a pullback, some profit taking up at that level. So I'm gonna go into a 15 minute chart and we'll zoom in and have a look at it. So here it is here, price literally gets up to this level. Now on a 15 minute chart, you could look for uh, possible signs of weakness. What does the market have to do? Well, looking at it right now, what I would be looking for is on a 15 minute chart, a change of structure, meaning I wanna see price break below this most recent uh, 15 minute swing point. Okay, that right there. So if price was to pull back and actually break that, then that could be a sign where I'm saying, okay, we, we could be therefore seeing a change of direction. The problem is we don't know how far this change of direction is going to be because it is counter trend. Um, and if we move across, I could also draw in a trend line for confirmation. So I might go across these two here, just as a guide. And you can see here, yes, we do get this um, really tight trend line break but uh, now we just wanna see this break, okay? To say, right, we've got a change of structure here. But you'll see, we just get this small pullback from the level and then price continues to break through. So in, in this type of structure, we never get a change even on the short term. So therefore you just never enter and price continues to move higher and you get very small pullbacks and up it goes, okay? So what if we use that as a mechanism to zoom in on the area? So what I'll do now is show you another one that uh, Duncan Cooper teaches in the webinar series on the four hour. So on this four hour level here, I'll just back it up for you. So price is getting up near where we want to look. There it is there. 
your price literally gets up to this point. So all we want to see for a sign of weakness is if price um, on the four hour candle just breaks below that previous low of this candle. So as I move across, in fact, it doesn't reverse at all. It just keeps going higher. And therefore there was never a point where we were looking to get involved. But remember what could happen now is price could fail underneath this level. Um, but at this point, this resistance tried to get below, but the four hour candle closed above it, respected it. And in fact, there's no reason to suggest technically that the trend is changing. Okay, so to finish off, let's look at the other side. So what about um, buying down at major support? So I'm gonna look at the Euro dollar trade. Why? Because it's basically an inverted US dollar index. Okay, so Euro dollar key level I'm looking at, you can see it right there. That was that weekly daily level we talked about. And I'm wondering, are we going to see price finally stall or potentially even reverse? And all of a sudden, the next 15 minutes, it just keeps pushing down below that level. So there's no real sign as yet. So I, we were patient and we waited and we finally, you can see this all day, we finally get a 15 minute candle, but it's not, what I want to see is it, it back above this 105.16, because remember, if this is a major liquidity zone with so much downward pressure, we may have to be patient. Um, people may be moving their exit orders lower, thinking it's just going to keep going lower, and we're waiting to see some kind of buying support. And right here, price rallies back up, and it's almost like it's becoming resistance and continuing lower, which it did, all the way down to about 105 even. And then finally, Finally, we got price back above. So now I'm looking at it saying maybe we experienced a false break. So what I'm looking for then is a pullback and show that this level is actually respected. Okay, because the first time it's just gone down or it could just crash through and keep going lower. So if we see a decent rally and then here it is here, we get price fall back, but this time it doesn't get below that level. It tries again, but only a couple of pips. So if it's putting in a higher bottom here, and this is the sign I'm looking for. And then we get a retest. So we get a big strong move up, great trading opportunity, and then price on the back of Jerome Powell's speech comes back and tests the level, but this time it's putting in a higher bottom, okay? And that, they're the type of things I would say I'm looking for at these key level. If we go to the four hour, and you'll see to where we are right now, it's now back above the central pivot or the average, okay, that's created each day. So, so far this is looking uh, a lot better than the previous days down at a significant level, which is uh, if we go to a four hour, you'll see what it looks like. So what I'm looking for here is price to get above the previous high of this four hour candle which we've gotten. So you could look at this and say, well, there's a sign that this weekly level might be holding enough for a trade and it goes down and retests. So we are seeing at this point at the moment, uh, the signs where we do use that either the four hour um, option or that 15 minute where we're looking for, for the higher bottom and for the level to be respected. All right, traders, that's all from me. Good luck with your trading.